How is everyone doing? It is Robbie T here back with another video on F1 2017 and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This time we're going to go into championship mode and experience what it's like for a grid to be reversed in a Grand Prix. I believe the Chinese Grand Prix will be the first round of the double header tour in the championship mode. We are going to go into that on 99 AI in the Ferrari car and see how well we do. Now before you get to experience what it's like to have a reverse grid race. I unfortunately off camera have to do the first race, basically the one shot qualifying and the normal race off camera so I need to get do that first and then I'll be with you onto the grid which would probably be a very very crazy grid let's say of this re possibly reverse grid race. I know a few people have already done this but I thought I'd try it myself and see how I got on so I'll be back with you guys shortly once I've finished the first race which will be the feature race. So as you can see we finished the feature race and we came in 16th place which was a pretty terrible result but never mind and Hamilton won the race so that means he'll be starting from the very back of the grid which is very very interesting. So as you can see, Hamilton, Bottas, Vettel, Ricardo, Verstappen, Massa, and you can see right down the bottom, Ericsson completes the top 20. And let's get on to the sprint race now. And there you go, that is the reverse grid with the top teams at the back and the front teams at the front. This is going to be very, very interesting. I can't wait to do this race. Unfortunately though, I did take several attempts to get it right, so... This will be the final attempt that I've done. So, wish me luck for this race. I'm waiting for the five red lights to go out and we're going to Lee Mix and... We're on a 56% brake bias by the way, so we're going to go over here, get out of the way of all of the AI and just let them through and race. Because we're going to do it from the back of the grid, because since we're in the Ferrari, there's no point uh, just going from 6th to 1st, there really is no point. So we're going to do it from the back and see how we get on. On 99% AI, this is going to be pretty difficult, I must say, because I... My difficulty at the moment on this game is between 95 and 100, but 99 is my personal preference at the moment. As we come towards this corner now, yellow flags, I have absolutely no idea why, as we are trying to catch up behind Lewis Hamilton, who obviously won the race, so he started from the back, and I believe, was it Valtteri Bottas, who was finished second, so he'll be, he started 19th. And then it was uh, one of the Rebels and Sebastian Vettel behind them. And I believe lead in the race are the two Saubers of Verline and Ericsson. Also the two Renaults and two McLaren Hondas up there as well. So it's going to be very interesting. So we dive down the inside of Lewis Hamilton. Caught him napping a little bit there. But we had to make the move because the door opened for us. And we're up into 19th place. Hamilton did not see that coming. And now we're right behind our teammates. Sebastian Vettel obviously... Kimi Raikkonen is not in this reverse grid race because we've taken his uh, race seat for this one race. As you can see, Sebastian Vettel going down the inside. Daniel Ricciardo, we're going to go down the inside. Late dive down the inside there. And Valtteri Bottas as well. He didn't see us coming. He's still on my outside though. So Bottas might come back at us, but no, he doesn't. And we stay in 15th place. So we've gained five positions in the first lap, which I did not expect to do. And the end of the first lap, I believe Pascal Verline 
was the first one to set the fast lap of the race, so he must be leading it. So, if Verlaine wins this race, I really do not mind because that would prove Mercedes really do need to hire him in the later future. So, we are right behind the Williams of Felipe Massa now. Now, I know that the Williams is very slippery in a straight line, but terrible in the low speed corners. So, we're going to use that to advantage and dive down the inside of Massa into this hairpin here. Massa's still on outside though, so it's not done yet. He's still side by side of us. Because the AI are so much more aggressive this year, you really have to race them hard. And Massa actually kept the position there, so I couldn't get past him. But towards the end of lap number two, on the back straight, the DRS isn't activated yet because it's not num lap number three. But we can try and overtake Massa into this hairpin. We've done a dive on the previous lap. Can we do another one? Down the inside of Massa and Roman Grosjean as well. Grosjean actually backs out of the move. Goes very, very wide in the hairpin. And unfortunately, Grosjean loses the position to us as well. So we gain two positions in that one corner. Go very, very wide. Missing the apex by miles. Don't know why Palmer set the fast lap there. But we smash the fastest lap with a 138.7, which is a very good lap indeed. Now... Same point, lap number three, on this DRS straight. We'll come towards the DRS straight. We're right behind Sergio Perez, our favourite driver. Perez gets all out of shape. He goes very, very wide off that corner. Gets a terrible exit. And before even the DRS is activated, we're overtaking the Force India. Even though the Force India is a Mercedes-powered car. So I'm very surprised by that. As we go down the inside of the heaven once again. Massive dive on Magnussen. He had no chance. And down inside of Torpedo Daniel Kvyat as well. But Kvyat is on the outside of us. He's trying to squeeze us onto the curb. We have to back out the move. And unfortunately, Kvyat has to place back. But we have the DRS on the other corner. Down, down the long straight. I'm, I'm struggling to commentate at the moment. Down the long straight. Overtaking Kvyat with ease. And we're up into P10 now. So we're already into the top 10. And now we're catching up to the rest of the pack now. As Van Dorn and Carlos Sainz Jr. are going absolutely hammer and on side by side. Through this whole first sector here. They're still going side by side. I don't know how the McLaren Honda is still side by side with Toro Rosso. But Van Dorn's trying to hold it in there. He's got a point to prove in that team. They're still side by side. Sainz Jr. has got to let the place go. Surely he'll have the momentum around this corner. He does. Van Dorn goes slowly. Can we go around the outside of the of the Belgian? Sorry. As we go around the outside. No, not quite. Not enough momentum. And we know where we're going to overtake that McLaren Honda. We're going to overtake him on a long back straight with a DRS. Because it's the slowest car on the straight line by absolute miles. Van Dorn absolutely sitting duck on the straight. As does Marcus Ericsson as well in the Sauber. As we go down the inside of him. Can we go down the inside of Carlos Sainz Jr.? No, we aren't late on the brakes enough. But we do squeeze out Ericsson. So we're up into P8 now. So... Let's see what cars we can overtake. We, well, Car Science Junior, we should be able to. Not with a DRS because we're not quite close enough. That's all right, so it's pretty nippy in a straight line. So, give it on to the final lap of the race. This is getting very intense. There are at least two cars or three cars left to overtake. First, Car Science Junior. Can we go down the inside of the hairpin? No, we can't do it. We just go a little bit too tight. We lose the car. No, 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 no. Don't lose the car now. Don't lose the car now. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. <sighs> I'm flashbacking that because that was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry guys, but I don't normally flashback on camera, but that was just ridiculous. And we're going to try again down the inside of Sainz Jr. He's still on the outside. We know how racy Carlos Sainz Jr. can be. As we go side by side, Sainz Jr. backs out of it. Let's us take the position. There was no way we're going to go side by side through that corner. Now... I think there's only one car left to overtake before the end of the race. And that is Pascal Verlein in the other Sauber. We know how slow the Sauber is on the straight. It's not as slow as the McLaren Honda, but it's still pretty slow. Proving how much of a back marker it really is. Just breezing past Pascal Verlein there. Along the back straights. We get onto the racing line. Can we ever take Lance Stroll? I don't think so. We got him. I think it was Grosjean in... Not Grosjean, sorry. I don't know who's in fourth place, but what I do know is I want to see who's won the race. Please do not be joining Palmer. Is it Renault? No, it's not. It's Nico Hulkenberg, the other Renault who won the race. Well done to Nico. He deserves to win the race for once. As we come towards the line, and it's going to be sixth position. I believe that's the best finish I've ever done. But I'm 
on this game so far. So, Hulkenberg celebrating his reverse grid victory. Julian Palmer finishes in second place. And Fernando Alonso and the McLaren Honda on the podium. Wow. I can't believe Palmer actually was on the podium. Game, what is this? Why is Palmer quicker than Alonso? Why is he quicker? So, coming towards the end of the race now, as we just saw the podium once again. Hulkenberg won that race from Palmer, Alonso in the McLaren Honda in third. That proves how much of a star driver he is, even in the rubbish car. Ocon in fourth, then Stroll, then myself, Verline, Sainz Jr., Van Dorn, and Daniel Kvyat wrapping up the top ten there. Ericsson finished 11th, so even though he started on pole, he finished outside the points, so... Awful, awful driving today for Marcus Ericsson, proving that he should be out of F1 very soon. There's Magnussen in 12th, then Felipe Massa in P13 there. Decent result for him and Bottas, Perez, Hamilton, Grosjean, Vettel, Ricardo, and Verstappen. So two Red Bulls end up the back there. Very, very surprising indeed. And that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Very different video to what I normally do. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new around here. More videos coming very soon. And goodbye.